Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Meg. I'm Josh. In case you're new, this is Josh and Meg channel. Yes, and basically we do. <laughs> All right, in case you're new here, uh, we do a lot of crazy videos. We basically just show our lives, and if you're new to our channel, we welcome you with our arms wide open. I know everyone's on still kind of social distancing slash court. What are we in? Are we in oh, phase nine lockdown? It's crazy. So um, we've been doing a lot of cooking at home, and we wanted to basically try out one of Josh's my favorite dish. Favorite Jamaican dish, guys. Almost period. Almost period, yeah, that's true. That's pretty big. Yeah. The ackee and saltfish. <laughs> the staple dish of Jamaica, ackee. right? Ackee. Ackee. Yeah, it's the national fruit. Ackee is actually a fruit. I was gonna say the fish is that fruit, but... Just wait, just a second. <laughs> Maybe she should choke. Maybe she's choking. All right, so we went ahead off camera and just pre-cut a few things and also bought some items that we're going to need for this dish. The first thing that you're gonna need for ackee and saltfish is ackee and saltfish. I mean, so you get kinda... ackee um, just in the international food section in your grocery store yes. in a can. Yes, um, it's and... pre cooked. Yes, so ready to go. And then saltfish, it's usually caught and it uh, comes usually at the bottom. I don't know, it's in a bag or something. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it comes in a bag. It comes in a bag, right? Usually. Yeah, it, um, it depends on where you buy it from. But, like, if you buy it from your local Publix, our Publix has saltfish. Sometimes you have to go to a special store. But, in any case, when you have the saltfish, I mean, it's crazy, but it's actually really salt. You would never it's think so that salt. that saltfish would actually be salt. So, right? what do you have to do in order to desalt it? So, my mom calls it washing the saltfish. But, really, it, it kind of is that water and you can kind of just rub it down get some of the salt off of cold it. water yes and you're gonna want to leave it soaking for at least two hours if you skip this step the oh. salt fish will go from being pleasantly salty salty to like you're gonna blow up not a mouth to the salt <laughs> I didn't I didn't tell him you could do that guys um so it has to be soaking for at least two hours. My mom has left it soaking for a lot longer. I think she's left it overnight, soaking once actually. overnight. Yeah, so that it wouldn't so be too soaky. it's just fish at that point. <laughs> it's just acting fish. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, you're gonna want to boil the salt fish. So what you're gonna need for this recipe is what? black pepper, sweet pepper, uh, ackee, which we spoke about, a teaspoon of scotch bonnet pepper. Scotch bonnet pepper is very, 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 very hot. So if you guys cannot handle that, you can skip that. Um, you can take that um, out. You can take that out. <laughs> Thank you. Big word. Um, you're gonna need one medium onion, one tomato, one tablespoon of grazed vegetable oil or any vegetable oil, and you're gonna need two stalks of scallion. Scallions. Um, and yeah, like we spoke about, you have the salt fish and also you chop up some fresh garlic. And we're gonna walk you guys through those steps. But that is basically yeah. the ingredients. All right, ready to roll? Yes, and if you'd like, um, usually salt fish is, ackee and salt fish is a breakfast food, but really you can eat it any time of the day. It's usually served with the side provision of, you can do boiled dumpling, that's his favorite, which is basically mm. just flour and so water, simple. guys. Flour, water, and salt. You have to remember the salt. Um, and it's basically just a dough that you put into boiling water. And you can also, in that same pot of boiling water, put in, um, it's, yeah, it's like green banana, yes. And um, you can also put yam, white yam. Uh, my grandma used to like white yam. I don't like white yam. I'm a big, I'm a dumpling girl. I'm a dumpling girl. <laughs> Something like a new rap song. I'm a dumpling um, girl. All right, we're battling. Let's just get into it. Right. Just get a nice big old pan. Nice big pan. We got the boiling water for the uh, dumplings. We got codfish over here. And next is one. All right, took the cutout. Cut out. All right. So why don't you chop that up, babe? Chop the cod up. All right, so he's gonna cut the codfish up. The saltfish. 
not too thin. Not too thin, right? Just like yeah, nice because, small chunks? Right, because it'll break up more and more, I think, as you cook it. Perfect, and the oil's already on there. So, Megan kind of took over a little bit, and she is doing a fabulous job because I am incapable of making perfect circles. There, give it a little whoosh because I need it in the oil. Next, I'm going to put in the saltfish. Saltfish. All right, so the dumpling is over here. Just put that dumpling into boiling water. Just be careful to drop it. Oh, girl, it's gonna be good. All right, what are you doing, baby? Okay, so you're sauteing the fish and garlic. That looks beautiful. We've got the dumpling on for about 20 minutes or so until it gets nice and right. So with the salt fish, guys, um, I just want to mention that kind of boiled it for about 15 minutes, strained the water out, put the water back in, boiled it for another about 20 minutes um, because this, you know, salt fish, it's, it's, it's very salt. So if you don't want it to be too salt, you know, longer you boil it. All right, so it's been on the stove here for just a minute or so. We're going to start adding in the ackee and all of our amazing ingredients. Which are? We have onion, tomatoes, peppers, and scallion. Didn't get all in there in the first go around, so we're gonna shove it in there. And the ackee. <laughs> so this is how you do it. We are, this, this is kind of like a meal prep, this is a lot of food. But granted, I'll eat this probably two days. You want to sit around and make sure that it is evenly dispersed and evenly cooked. Hence, a big pan is your best friend. And so what you can do, it's really good with salt fish, is you don't really need to add salt, but you can add black pepper. Black pepper is a best friend for anybody. All right, so this looks so amazing. Oh my gosh, look at all that color. Mia, have you ever had, <laughs> have you ever had ackee and selfish babies? Ooh, she already, she already trying to get it. It's hot. So in hindsight, I may have put the ackee in last because the ackee is already cooked since it was in the jar. Um, in the can, but um, another tip is that you don't want to spin the ackee and stir the ackee and the saltfish too much together. You kind of just want to let it sizzle because the more you stir, it's going to kind of break apart the ackee and then you get it to be too mushy and you don't want that. This one's already a little bit too mushy. Alright guys, this has been the most exhausting ackee and saltfish ever. Ackee and saltfish normally takes three hours to cook. <laughs> no, guys, it takes like 30 minutes, but we took three hours. So you wanna make sure you strain the dumpling a little bit before you just put the water on there. I like water. <laughs> okay. I think that's good, honey. Oh, oh I'm going off the plate, all right. <laughs> Back in there. You know about that. I'm, I don't even care about YouTube right now. I'm gonna make daddy a plate. Careful not to mash everything up when you're scooping. I know, I'm getting nice on these foot. Hmm. One more scoop, and I'll see you guys later. So, this is the final product, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's try it, see if it's good. You cross your fingers here? Yeah. Oh, I have a paper plate. Yeah, well, I don't. I think that was a success, uh, yeah, a success right? Mm -hmm. 
I think that was a uh, success. What do you think? Yeah, me too. All right. I mean, the more that we try it, the better we get. But guys, just because you don't cook something perfectly the first time doesn't mean that you shouldn't cook or you shouldn't try. Because guess what? That's how you do it. You ask around, you try, you fail, you succeed. And guess what? You eat. Okay. And you eat. And this, this was really, really good. And I had a lot of fun doing this with you. I appreciate you. All right, guys. So we're gonna get to eating because we're starving. Morning. <laughs> Seriously. Um, but I closed out, so I am. I'm Josh. And we're the life. God bless. God bless. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.